thank you for stopping by i appreciate you thank you so so much thank you god bless you happy sunday trust god we are all good trust god in his faithfulness that we are all good so today i want to talk about some prayers or psalms you can make um at midnight what psalms to use and preferably on wednesdays preferably on wednesdays every wednesday midnight you can make this as a habit to read and pray with these psalms pray with these psalms every wednesday um midnight now in case some people will be asking when is the midnight um, starting anything from 12 a.m to 5 a.m you are good 12 a.m to 5 a.m you are good whenever time permits you now the first psalm i want you to pray with every wednesday at midnight is if you can pray with all the psalms if not choose the ones you can and pray with them now remember i told us that when you are praying you don't you don't read psalms you pray psalms right when you are praying with psalms if there's anywhere that said thou for example that is referring to the um the author the person that wrote psalms david and all you understand what i'm trying to say put your name there that's what i'm trying to say put your name there please very very important and i know that by the grace of god god in his mercy will have mercy on us and deliver us from every challenge we're encountering give us victory and at the end we will laugh last to the glory of god thank you the number one psalm is psalm 3 psalm 3 verse 3 psalm 3 verse 3 psalm 3 verse 3 but thou o lord are thou o lord are a shield for me my glory and the lifter of my head god is our shield he's our glory and he is the one that lifts up our head in the midst of the crowd he's the one that lifts up our head when the enemy has bowed down our head you understand with distress troubles lack sickness and all that it's only god that will lift up our heads so psalm 3 verse 3 the second psalm is psalm 118 verse 22 psalm 118 verse 22 okay sorry yeah psalm 118 verse 22 the stone which the builders refused is become the head corner of the stone the stone the builders have rejected has become have you heard this song before may god make us the corner stones in our lives in our generation in our family in the society all over the world may god make us the cornerstone do not bother do not worry if people have talked down on you looked down on you castigated you laughed at you mock you just hold on to the creator that was not created which is god almighty he's going to turn around our stories for good and his name will be glorified Another psalm is Psalm 125, verse 2. As the mountains surround Jerusalem, so the Lord surrounds his people from time forth forever. I don't think, even if you've not been reading, then praying or reading the book of Psalms, somehow, somehow, you must have come across these words anywhere, somehow. So, let God surround us with his mercy, his goodness, his faithfulness. The, another psalm is Psalm 39 verse 12. Psalm 39 verse 12. Hear my prayer, O Lord, and give ear to my cry. Do not be silent at my, at my tears, for I am a stranger with you, a sojourner as all my fathers were. This psalm is like another psalm asking God for his mercy to hear our cry. All our silent tears, tears that no one sees, all the soaking of pillow at night, tears that only you see, tears that even when you are not crying physically, but your heart is heavy, your heart is crying, your heart is bleeding. So this psalm is talking about asking for the mercy of God. Another psalm is Psalm 45 verse 7. 
Psalm 45 verse 7. Thou lovest righteousness and hatest weak and hates wickedness. Therefore God, therefore God, by thy God hath anointed thee with oil of gladness above, above thy fellows. Now there are two things in this particular Psalms. Reminding us that yes, for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. We are imperfect human beings with a perfect God, right? But reminding us that we are still sinners. We should always acknowledge our sins. But we should not dwell in sin. But ask God for the grace. And then again, telling God how he anoints our head to make us stand out. Anoint our head to make us stand out among our equals. Another psalm is Psalm 92 verse 10. But, but my horn shall thou exhaust like the horn of an unicorn. I shall be anointed with fresh oil. Wow. So go ahead at midnight on Wednesdays preferably and call upon God. Pray with these psalms. Ask God for his grace, for his mercy. And watch God step into whatever situation it is that has been something of weary tears of pain to you. There is nothing God cannot do. What God cannot do does not exist. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you.